Right. We got a full boat. Let's meet the man. Pissing our pants yet? Ah, how's it going, Rack Viewers? Grim Gay right back into another Legends of the West video. And our winner yet again is Dova King. And it's yet again another thing from The Walking Dead, if that wasn't kind of plainly obvious right out of the gate. Yeah, Dova requested we do Negan from uh, The Walking Dead. Like, literally, the lineup scene Negan. Which is uh, possibly, like, the most infamously known version of Negan. Oh, Lord Almighty. Uh, that all said, let's go ahead and break down this outfit piece by piece, and, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually astonished with how well this can be pulled off. Weirdly enough. Like, everything, like, matches up, like, just enough to a point. Except the boots, the boots are kind of off. That all said, starting off, no hat with this outfit, no headband, no eyewear, no mask, we are gonna throw a bandana on, however. As the trim bandana, with the coat we choose, actually perfectly represents the look we want, like, to a scary degree. That said, no other neckwear for the coat. The Durham coat, in black, is is a, a perfect Old West representation of Negan's biker jacket. It, it's hilarious how well this works. It's almost dumb how well this works. I like it. No ponchos. Vests and shirts, suspenders, completely dealer's choice, because honestly, for this particular moment, this particular scene, you don't see it. Any of it. So, wear whatever the heck. <laughs> but other than that, no gauntlets. Gloves is kind of an interesting one, as Negan is wearing one singular leather glove on one of his hands, but not the other. So you can go without gloves, or if you want, you can throw on some nice black range gloves, and just call it good there. No rings, no belts, no buckles, weapon equipment, eh, kind of a toss-up, honestly, but I ended up settling on a good old Bulger gun belt set, and a more paler brown. Though honestly, you can go lighter than this, and it would still look really good. Other than that, no other gun belt trinkets and no bandoliers. Moving on to the pants. I studded pants. I, I needed to go something that kind of looked like just a slightly faded black jean kind of look. Because that's kind of what it looks like in the scene. And studded pants really do sell the look, especially since they actually do come in a nice kind of faded black, which does wonders for the representation. That said, honestly, you could get away with just about any darker gray pant if you can really find it. I honestly couldn't find anything in the right shade of gray I was looking for, hence why I settled on this. Beyond that, no nightgowns, no overalls, no chaps, boots have an interesting thing to them. A grand example, these Kelly boots actually do come in a shade of black, actually do have a strap over the foot itself. And honestly, the steel toe is really the only thing that really throws this stuff off, or I guess that's a more a copper or bronze toe. Either way, these would work, other than the fact they don't go over the pant leg. Other than that, they, they work really well. So if you happen to have the gold and can afford the Kelly boots in black, by all means, go for it. If not, however, a nice fallback is the lumber boots, which I'm not sure I've ever used before. If I have, I can't remember. And these, of course, come in two variants. You can go with just the clean, proper black if you really want, just for kicks, or you can go with the more worn, torn, and faded look. Both kind of work wonders for this outfit, I'm not gonna lie. Finally, no spurs for this outfit, and that's it. Again, this, this is one of the few outfits you really can pull off to a very scary degree in Red Dead Online. I go outside to show you in the light, but sadly, uh, 
yeah, a couple of jackasses are out there just having fun with each other, so we definitely can't quite do that without just risking getting my head blown off. That all said, though, I mean, that's it. And as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way to show that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing with your friends. And checking down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own requests in the comments, where you might be next week's winner. Or be like everybody else that completely misses this little quip and just post it on one of my D&D videos, where I just fly out tell them that's not how this works. <laughs> Lord almighty. Everything's done on the voting system. No one catches that memo, though. Lord almighty. Anyway. Once again, though, thank you all for watching. And as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. See you then.